Hey, it's Don W6GPS, and I've had this asked this question, can I use USB power on my THD75? And the answer is yes. So I'm gonna just show you, give you a little quick demonstration uh, what's going on here. Let's go to the radio. So I've got my two amp USB power supply. Um, I have a completely dead uh, battery uh, on my THD 75 and uh, I do want to show you this first I don't recommend it but you guys asked for it with no battery on the radio and I've got uh, two amps of uh, 13 and 0.8 volts uh, you can uh, use the radio uh, not good not having it uh, something on the back you could get a uh, a uh, KB KBP9 which is the AAA battery holder put that on there just to protect it but you can work run the radio um, with no battery on 13.8 volts at least 2 amps uh, you can even charge it at the same time so I just wanted to show you you can do that Okay, and let's see. Let's take this off. We're going to take the battery pack off. We got a completely dead, completely dead uh, battery. And now we're going to, now we're going to take our USB power. It is a uh, two amp, two amp uh, USB power. Let's plug it in. Okay, you can, I'm going to take the battery off again, sorry. I got the battery off and I have it in the USB power. I have it in the USB socket right here. Uh, the radio will come on. Uh, it will power up. Uh, you can, uh, you can listen to it. Um, open up the squelch. GPS is working all that but if you transmit it will not transmit so anyway so what I want to do is is I'm gonna put the battery up turn the radio off put the put a completely dead battery in okay and um, it's charging I will turn it on remember it is a dead battery so I want to turn it on and I'm gonna start my stopwatch here And I, I key up the radio and it and it disappears. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back. We're gonna have the have the timer going. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check like in five minutes. The whole point of this is um you can use uh, USB power to charge a battery and run the battery, but you have to charge the battery up enough to um, get the voltage level high enough for the trans transmit section to work. So this is we're going on we've gone on a minute and a half here, and still not there. All right, so we're just going to let it set here, and we're going to come back in about 10 minutes. You do want to make sure that uh, menu 923, that the charger is on. If you didn't have it on, the little icon would have the little lightning bolt next to it. Anyway, I'm not going to make you sit here for 10 minutes. I'll... Uh, I'll speed it up. And if you want to, uh, you can turn on uh, menu 922 and that'll show you the battery level. Okay, what I can tell you though is if you take the power level, let's say if you run a hot spot in your in your car and you turn the power level down to extra low power, it does transmit. 
and that's been uh, almost four minutes. So four minutes will get you uh, low power, extra low power. So about four or five minutes and you're good to go if you're going to be on extra low power. So we're going to turn this back up to high power right up there. And let's give it another key down. And it's, it killed, it still died. So we're going to give it uh, 10 minutes. I think it's 10 minutes would be the best thing to do. So I'll come back here when the stopwatch uh, clicks over 10 minutes. Okay, it's been uh, 10 minutes, just a little bit over 10 minutes, and we give it a give it a key down here. This is full power output, W6 GPS testing. W6 GPS testing. Okay, so my point is you can use USB to uh, run the radio. You can run the radio without the battery, but you're only gonna, you won't be able to transmit. And number two, you need to give it about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes on charge. You can have the radio on like I did. Of course, it's gonna charge quicker if you turn the radio off, but give it about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you should have uh, full output power. Um, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, you can email me at w6gps at yahoo.com.